My name is Shalini Kapoor. I am 14 years and I live in Nablon. For me, was so struggling to find food and even in this last year of the drought. This is where we used to pump water. Right now there's no water, but we used to pump it right here. Before the borehole, we used to go and collect water to the river. We can take it like even one hour to collect water. We can just see crocodile and we used to be afraid. It was not easy to go. Because of that Dutch water, some of them got diarrhea. I suffered from the diarrhea. So I went to the hospital, I was discharged after two weeks. This is the chunk. You know, it's, it's always a lot, plenty of water. Lot, right? Yeah, a lot of water. You know, it's two chunks. Yeah. So it's kind of all the water for three months. Mm -hmm. Then they pump it again. This is the solar, the solar panel. And that's, I think that's the solar, they have the water runs. This is our kitchen garden. That's the pumpkins. Okay, over there. Yeah. The baby's too short. Mm. Mighty Funga! Come on. It was a range of fun. This is the tap. It's perfectly pink. You cannot even get any diseases. It's very white, pure, and it has many features a lot. That's why you drink it if you don't have a cup. It has been difficult for my family, especially for my relatives who live in Calabria town. They had kettles, like 50 of them, but they died due to the drought. Wakati the drought, they had to go to the house and go to the house. I was able to get the chakula and I was able to get the house. I was able to get the house and I was able to get the house. I was able to get the house and I was able to get the house. I was able to get the house and I was able to get the house. I feel so happy I've joined the secondary school and just hope that I can finish my school really well. I hope for the future. I just like to be first of all a journalist to see how the world is. If you're thinking of donating to UNICEF to support our drought response, I would very much encourage you to do so. This support has been critical both saving children's lives from malnutrition and also providing water systems like we have here that has enabled children like Charlene to complete their education and go on to have a brighter future. Thank you very much.